Um, my name is Vlad Magdalene. I am um, one of the founders of Webflow. Um, and let me ask you guys, just so I can gauge sort of the, the technical range of, of skill sets here, how many of you guys have ever built a website? How many of you know what WordPress is? And how many are you experts in HTML and CSS and JavaScript? All right, so considerably all fewer. Three or one of the time. Well, all three usually come in the same in the same bucket. Well, depends depends on what you're building. Anyway, um, Webflow is a uh, a new product that makes it really easy for designers uh, and entrepreneurs and business people to create landing pages and any sorts of websites that you can um, typically build with. CMS is like WordPress, but do it purely in a visual UI. So um, I want to show you a little bit uh, of how you would do that. So with Webflow, if you can think about what you traditionally have to do with building websites, you're coding in a text editor, then looking at a browser, refreshing. Or you're working with a company that um, gives you a template, and you kind of drag some stuff around, and it either fits your business or it doesn't. Webflow gives designers like complete customization, the same type of customization that they would have if they were writing code, but in a visual UI. So let me show you how it works. Um, all I have to do is create a new website. Um, let me do it real quick here. Just call it SV New Tech. And choose a template. How many of you guys know about the current trend of responsive design? Where you have to have one, if you don't know what it is, it's you create one code base, and that works across all your devices. So whether you're on a laptop, uh, a large desktop, a tablet, a phone, um, you basically have one code base, and it works everywhere. So Webflow allows designers to, to just work in that in that sort of new new landscape. So here's a, an example site that I created. This is just based on a template, but you can actually start from scratch. Um, and this is the actual website, so I can I just preview it if I uh, publish it right now. So let me publish it real quick so you guys can pull it up on your phones. It's uh, svnewtech.webflow.com. Um, and what we have right now is kind of a basic template. But I can go back into Webflow and start making uh, customizations from scratch. And here's where the responsive design part sort of comes in. So let's, uh, what's the tagline for SV New Tech? It's awesome. It's awesome. All right. Uh, all right. So it's it's awesome. Now what we have here is a um, sort of basic landing page. But what what I want to do now is see what it looks like on an iPad. Um, so I opened up the iPad view, and here's my here's what it looks like. What I can do now as a designer is start customizing all the different details of of this design. So. Let me you know, move this up a little bit. I can make this, um, as an example, I'll make this image a little smaller. By the way, all this right now, everything I'm doing is writing code on the, in the background. Um, let me make this, oh, sorry. Make this another color. And notice when I make these changes, if I go back to the desktop mode, it's it that color doesn't stick, but it flows down through to all other devices below the the tablet. So I can go to my phone now, and here's my um, my button, and I'll make it green, um, and then I go to my other phone, and let's say I want to make this button completely smaller, so. Shrink it, and maybe I want to take all my all my headings and make them much smaller. And if I publish right now, oh, sorry, wrong button. If I publish and you refresh this on your on your phone, all those changes are kicking in right now. So as you can see, I'm resizing the screen, and all these colors are changing as I. So watch this button get smaller as I go to my, my phone landscape uh, configuration. But the, the really cool thing about this is that it's taking the power of web development and it's putting it in the hands of regular designers. So if you can imagine you're building a, um, a new business, right? And you want to capture new leads. Um, with Webflow, instead of you know wiring up all the code, you can actually just 
get dynamic components like this form block, um, and actually, I can actually start capturing leads. So I'll publish this now. You can actually refresh your phone and send me a lead right now, and I'll get it on my phone. Just easy as that. I didn't have to write any code, set up a PHP server, use any FTP clients. It just it just works. Any questions? Yes, in the back right there. How much of this are you hosting on your own services, and how much is externally applicable? Great question. So the question was, how much of this are we hosting on our own services, and how much of it is externally applicable? So right now, we want to provide designers and entrepreneurs with a complete platform. So once you build it, it's a one-click publish. It works everywhere. But you can also export the code. Um, it's completely clean code. It's the same type of code that a developer would write with uh, something like Bootstrap or Foundation. Um, it's actually based on Bootstrap. Um, and you can export it, put it anywhere you want, do whatever you want with it. Um, some bits still link back to Webflow, like the form submissions, but you're free to link it up to MailChimp or any other service. Yes? Yeah, what's your pricing model? Uh, it's a SaaS model. We have a 14-day um, free trial that then converts to a free, um, a free plan that you can only have one site on. But beyond that, we charge a monthly fee to have access to a range of projects. So if you want 10 projects, a certain fee. Um, 50 projects, etc. Do you support e-commerce transactions? Uh, the question was, do we support e-commerce transactions? Right now, we don't support it natively, but we work with partners, so you can uh, put in an embed code through uh, partners like PayPal and Stripe, uh, and Stripe Checkout, and you can embed that right into your site. And it actually, once you embed it, it it's you see exactly what it looks like. Um, you don't have to, you know, mess with any code. It's literally in your site. You host it. You host the code. Uh, the question was, do we host the code? Yes, we do. And we host it uh, in a much more robust way than, than most people would uh, host it by themselves. So most people would just upload it to a server and have it work. We host all of our code on uh, what's called a content delivery network. So if you publish it here in San Francisco, it's going to work equally fast in Australia, Europe, Asia, etc. Yes? So if I want to take my site with me, do I own the code? Can I the question is, if you want to take your site with me, is it portable? Yes. If you export your code, you can uh, take it anywhere. It's in the back. Right here? Yeah. Yep. Right here. Thank you. Um, revenue stream. Um, can you be more specific, please? Um, so, how much monthly? I mean, I'm sorry, I came in late. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just trying to figure out um, when does everyone start paying? Sure. So, um, so if you want to set up uh, more advanced things like custom domains or you have a lot of projects, we have plans that start at around uh, $16 a month. Okay, and, and so, so broad spoke, I mean, let's, let's get real. Right? Are you going to be acquired or do you want to go public or what's your uh, Good question. The, the question was, do we want to be acquired? I know, you don't ever want to answer. Right. Uh, so actually, to that point, we just announced some news today. Um, no, we don't want to be acquired. And we actually <laughs> acquired an Adobe, not the Adobe. <laughs> uh, we've actually, um, I mean, this is recorded, so uh, maybe off the record, we've actually had acquisition offers that we've turned out. So, so we, we're in this for the, for the long run. We want to um, control... Um, we, we want to give designers the power to create really powerful things on the web, and we think if Adobe or Google picks up that technology, they'll just integrate it into some small component. So you're going to be acquired? No, that's the opposite of what I said. You guys can talk about it offline. I think this is as good place as any to transition to the next one. Thank you, Vlad. This was very exciting.